Story 1. I had always been fascinated by the eerie tales surrounding old, abandoned buildings. So when I heard about a haunted restaurant in the heart of the city, I couldn't resist the opportunity to explore its dark secrets. Little did I know that my curiosity would lead me down a path of unimaginable terror. The restaurant, once a bustling hub of activity, now stood derelict and forgotten. Its faded sign swung gently in the wind, a ghostly welcome for those daring enough to step inside. With trepidation coursing through my veins, I pushed a creaking door open and entered the realm of the unknown. The air inside was stagnant and heavy, as if time itself had come to a standstill. Cobwebs adorned the corners and the remnants of shattered glass littered the floor. It was a haunting sight, but I pressed on, driven by a mixture of fear and morbid curiosity. As I made my way deeper into the restaurant, the sounds of my footsteps seemed to echo through the empty halls. Whispers, barely audible, brushed against my ears, sending shivers down my spine. I knew I was not alone. In the dim light, I caught glimpses of movement, shadows darting across the walls, as if playing a macabre game. My heart raced as I realized that something otherworldly resided within these haunted walls, watching my every move. A sudden gust of wind extinguished my flashlight, plunging me into darkness. Panic gripped me as I fumbled for a lighter, the feeble flame casting eerie shadows on the decaying walls. It was then that I heard it, a low, guttural growl emanating from the depths of the restaurant. Fear consumed me as I retraced my steps, desperate to find an exit. But the layout of the restaurant had changed, doors leading to nowhere and hallways that seemed to stretch infinitely. It was as if the building itself was playing tricks on me, trapping me within its sinister grasp. I stumbled upon a staircase that spiraled downwards, its steps worn and treacherous. With no other option, I descended into the abyss below, my heart pounding with every step. The air grew colder and a putrid stench assaulted my senses, threatening to overwhelm me. As I reached the basement, a flickering light revealed a disconcerting sight. A row of rusted meat hooks hanging from the ceiling. The realization struck me like a bolt of lightning. This was the restaurant's old cold storage, a place where horrors had unfolded. Whispers grew louder, forming chilling words that echoed in the darkness. I could feel their icy breath on my neck, their presence closing in. And then I saw them, figures, ethereal and distorted, their eyes empty voids of despair the restless spirits of those who had met a gruesome fate within these walls. Their anguished moans filled the air as they circled me, their phantom touch sending shivers down my spine. I closed my eyes, desperately seeking an escape from this nightmare, and in that moment of surrender, a glimmer of hope emerged. A voice, soft but determined, whispered in my ear, guiding me towards a hidden door. With renewed determination, I followed its instructions, my heart pounding in my chest, the door led me to a narrow alleyway, bathed in the light of the moon, a stark contrast to the darkness I had left behind. I stumbled out into the night, gasping for breath, my body drenched in cold sweat. The haunted restaurant loomed behind me, a silent witness to the horrors I had witnessed. I vowed never to return, but the memory of that night would forever haunt my dreams. The first story of these horrific restaurant experiences serves as a chilling reminder that some places hold secrets too terrifying to fathom. It warns us to tread carefully, for even the most innocuous establishments can become sinister portals to the supernatural. Story 2 In the heart of the city, there stood an elegant restaurant renowned for its exquisite cuisine and luxurious ambience. It was a place where patrons could escape the mundane and indulge in culinary delights. However, beneath the surface of sophistication and refinement lurked the sinister secret that would forever tarnish its reputation. It was a stormy night when I stepped through the grand entrance of the restaurant. The ambience was dim, the air heavy with anticipation. The flickering candlelight cast eerie shadows on the walls, hinting at the darkness that lay within. As I settled into a secluded corner, a sense of unease settled upon me. Whispers floated through the restaurant, barely audible yet laden with an otherworldly presence. I dismissed them as figments of my imagination, eager to savor the culinary experience that awaited me. The waiter arrived, his movements unnaturally swift and graceful. His eyes, though polite, held a glint of something sinister. 
I ordered my meal, trying to ignore the nagging feeling that something was amiss. As I waited for my food, the atmosphere shifted. The restaurant's elegant decor transformed into a macabre scene. The walls bulled with crimson streaks, and the chandeliers swayed ominously above. Patrons around me seemed oblivious, lost in their own worlds of decadence and indulgence. When my meal arrived, I hesitated for a moment, a sense of foreboding washing over me, but the tantalizing aromas proved too enticing to resist. With each bite, the flavors danced upon my tongue, a symphony of delight and despair. As I savored the final morsel, a searing pain coursed through my body. Agony twisted my insides, and I realized that something sinister had been hidden within the delectable dish. Panic gripped me as I desperately sought help, only to find that the staff had vanished, leaving behind an empty void. The restaurant transformed into a labyrinth of horrors, its once opulent halls now a twisted maze of dark hallways and locked doors. I stumbled through the darkness, my strength waning with every step. Whispers followed me, their sinister promises echoing through the desolate corridors. In a stroke of luck, I discover a hidden passage, an escape route from this culinary nightmare. With the last shreds of my energy, I crawled through the narrow passage, emerging into a moonlit alleyway. The cool night air filled my lungs, offering a respite from the suffocating confines of the restaurant. As I turned to gaze at the restaurant one final time, I saw its true form, a dilapidated, decaying structure that seemed to wither before my eyes. Its monstrous secret had been exposed, and I vowed to share the truth with the world, to ensure that no one else would fall victim to its wicked charms. The second story of these horrific restaurant experiences serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that appearances can be deceiving. It warns us to be wary of the allure of luxury and indulgence, for within the facade of grandeur may lie a malevolent force ready to consume those who dare to partake. Story 3 Nestled on the outskirts of town, there was a quaint family-owned restaurant that had been in operation for generations. It was renowned for its warm hospitality and delicious homemade recipes, but behind its charming facade, a darkness lurked, ready to unleash a horrifying ordeal upon unsuspecting guests. I had heard whispers of strange occurrences, but curiosity drew me towards the restaurant's doors one fateful evening. As I entered, the comforting aroma of home-cooked meals embraced me, offering solace amidst the encroaching shadows. The place seemed ordinary at first, with families enjoying their meals and laughter filling the air. But as the night wore on, an unsettling hutch fell upon the establishment. The once vibrant atmosphere turned stifled, as if an invisible hand gripped the patrons' throats, silencing their voices. As I sat at a table, a sense of unease settled upon me. The walls seemed to pulsate with a malevolent energy, and the air grew heavy with an ominous presence. I glanced around, noticing the other diners' expressions a mixture of fear and confusion etched upon their faces. A waitress approached me, her eyes hollow, devoid of any warmth. She mumbled something under her breath, her words laced with a sinister undertone. I dismissed it as a trick of the mind, eager to focus on my meal and escape the mounting tension. With each bite, however, an unsettling taste lingered on my tongue, an inexplicable bitterness that tainted the flavors I had once savored. It was as if the essence of the restaurant had soured, its very soul corrupted by a force beyond comprehension. As the night wore on, the restaurant transformed into a nightmarish realm. The walls cracked, revealing grotesque figures lurking within. The floor trembled beneath my feet, threatening to devour me into its depths. Desperate screams echoed through the air, blending with the agonized cries of the lost souls trapped within this unholy place. As panic consumed me, I sought an escape route, but the once familiar layout of the restaurant had twisted and contorted into a labyrinth of horrors. The staff had vanished, leaving me to navigate the nightmarish corridors alone. Amidst the chaos, I stumbled upon a hidden cellar door. With no other choice, I flung it open and descended into the abyss below. The air grew stale, suffocating me as I descended deeper into the bowels of the restaurant's dark secret. In the dimly lit cellar, I discovered a ghastly sight, a shrine of sorts, adorned with decaying offerings and symbols of ancient rituals. It became clear that the restaurant had been built upon a cursed ground, its very existence fueling the sinister forces that had taken hold. 
With a surge of determination, I vowed to break the cycle of darkness. I gathered my strength, reciting ancient chants of purification and banishment. The air crackled with energy as the malevolent presence fought against my resolve, but I persevered, determined to free the restaurant and its tormented souls. In a blinding flash of light, the darkness dissipated, leaving behind a sense of liberation and relief. The restaurant returned to its former state of warmth and hospitality, as if the nightmare had never occurred. But the memory of that night would forever linger, a reminder of the horrors that can hide behind even the most innocent fat case. The third story of these horrific restaurant experiences serves as a chilling reminder that evil can infiltrate the most cherished places. It warns us to remain vigilant, for even within the sanctuary of familiarity, darkness can take hold, testing our courage and resolve. Thank you for watching Whispering Tales TV, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. Get ready for spine-tingling stories that will keep you up at night. Let the whispering tales begin.